someone other than you, Evan, and I think you should have realized it, directed this venture. Okay, every wrong turn turning out to be the right place. If I can get that across to you, you might feel a little better about life and people in general. What is this this documentary uh, showing well, about your life? It's, it's about my life. You know, I felt uh, this is this is the best writer I've ever heard out there. And I thought it was a sure thing and uh, that he was going to be this giant star right away. I mean, I couldn't imagine that it wasn't uh, going to happen. This guy's going to do something your fucking uncle never did. He, all he did was uh, sell 40 tons of marijuana and wind up in federal prison. God love him. A lot of the uh, money that uh, funded our venture was uh, cocaine money. Was no, it? actually it was marijuana. Was it marijuana? Yeah, it was pot dealers. Right when the deal was supposed to get sold, I got busted and went away. I figure once he wakes up and gets on his feet, something still might happen with my music. But at 62, I don't know how much longer I can afford to wait. No, I, I have no regrets about anything because I've always tried to uh, help Regis become known. But, uh, you know, Regis has a lot of problems on his own. Obviously! Yeah, Mom, with the people that are going to make me famous. Open, open the door. And he would play some of Regis's songs, and I was like, "Who is this?" This is a fucking music. Done. They freaked. Absolute failure to make it in the business of music. You can say you're a very pretty woman. <laughs> and you have nice tits. Stop it! <laughs> because you know what? He pisses people off. Uh -oh. I have been you, sir. Okay, you didn't need that. I would talk to sometimes people behind the scenes, and they really didn't know because he was a very mysterious character, very unique, and there was no formula. That didn't matter. When he got in front of a group, it became an audience. That sounded too arrogant. I get famous in any place I play. You want me to prove it? He has a powerful ego. I mean, you know, he can consume you and chew you up and spit you out with his ego. I mean, it's it's powerful. Challenge me, motherfucker. He always wants to push it just a little bit too far just to see if he can push it that far and get away with it. Does he know where we're going? I have a saying that I tell people sometimes when I think I'm really ahead of them. I say I'm so far ahead of you, I'm behind you. You do not listen, man. You really fucking don't. Regis was so far ahead that, that he was behind. We just had a way, though, of just like bonding to a person based on something very real about the person having nothing to do with any outer personality or outer image. He wrote that song right there. Remember that? God bless you, Father. Okay, pray for me. Okay, it's about time something good happened in my life. Hey, God bless you, man. Are you a drinker at all? Or do you have time? Yeah. All of them. Double shot in time. We both uh, use inhalers and we both smoke as many cigarettes as we can possibly smoke. Yeah, I think we're birds of a feather. I'm kind of afraid I'm staring at my future in the face. I've smoked half a million cigarettes in under 40 years. Along with that, I must have drunk 50,000 beers. To hear the kind of music Reese's was doing with it. It just blew me away because he was speaking that that inner me, the inner him, the inner every man. I've seen the beautiful soldier. I'm glad he took us into his house. He wasn't going to do that. That's cool. Everything is covered in nicotine. What struck me is there's so many people that live like that. So many old people have been to places I've seen. Each one I just don't know how you get there. He, he ended up spending seven long years 
completely going into the void and completely going into self-destruction. My dad's a brilliant man. He's got a brilliant mind. He's got a great mind for words. He's got a great mind for memory of some things. You don't need to prove it anymore. What you need to prove is to yourself. Can you become a brilliant but normal man? Can he be a calm man? Can he live 20 more years or is he going to flame out because he can't put down the vodka? I'm I can't run from from long distance. I'm coming from long distance. distance. I can't pull that part of your soul that's gone dead. A lot more of the songs that he had written were really uh, spiritual, religious songs. It all sounds the same to me. Sometimes I'll look at a lyric that's 25 years old. I see something I never even knew the song said. He's having a hoot, like showing us and being this, you know, crazy vaudevillian hambo and fucking doing his tap dance around it all. I think this is hell or purgatory. I mean, this is both hell. And the I just sing one last Jesus song. I've been telling people for centuries, this is the greatest songwriter in history. In history. Me. Before you think about it, I'll be gone.